All right, hello my friends. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing with the Defemmer Ember prompts. Today is day 21. And the prompt is vintage meets modern. Let's go ahead and grab our scrap and set our journal to the side. We're also going to set the scrap to the side for the moment. We will be using it. But the first thing I want to do is we're going to do a little bit of collaging. So this is just um, watercolor scrap paper that I had laying around. And what I did was I went through several of my magazines. Um, I have a giant stash of, what are they called, the National Geographics. And I looked for things that had like a modern version of it and then a more vintagey style version of it. So what I've found, and we may not use all of this, we'll see, is I have this uh, map that looks a little more modern that shows Connecticut and Long Island. And then I have this one that shows the same area. So we've got those. I also found this kind of vintagey looking storefront and this very modern style skyline. I have a little vintage car and a more modern car. And I got this idea from uh, Louisa Hansel. If I can find her, it was for her one of her Halloween makes, I believe. I believe it was the Halloween make. Maybe it was the Christmas one. Oh, now I don't remember. I think it was the Halloween one, uh, one of her makes for Tim Holtz, uh, where she took the paper dolls and she kind of tore them, you know, tore them in half and used different parts of people's faces together so I found a lady that matches fairly well she's a little smaller but we'll probably whoop use that and then I also have just some scrap paper some stickers and this frame so yeah we're gonna get right to collaging um and yeah I'll throw you guys on fast forward put on a little bit of music and we'll get right into it All right, I'm going to let this dry for a second, and then once it's dry, I will quickly go over it with a layer of my clear gesso so that I can use my Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White to push some of the stuff a little farther back and bring some of the stuff a little farther forward. Um, but yeah, once the gesso is done and dried, I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm back. I forgot. I forgot to do something. So these are from the scrap from Jamie. I just went around and cut around them and I want to add these to the collage. Cause they also have to get gessoed over. I completely spaced on that. Sorry. So we'll just get these attached and then uh, continue on, like I said before. All right, so 
excuse me, I needed a little bit of my tea. Uh, I did put a layer of clear gesso underneath the leaves. I didn't bother putting it on top because I made another realization <laughs> after I did that, which is I'm not going to use the bleed proof white because I do want to put more um, words. Words are so fun. Uh, more <laughs> mediums. There we go. Sorry. More mediums on top. And since this is technically a watercolor, it would uh, smudge. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use our white gesso instead. And then the white gesso will prime that paper as well. Okay, so that is all dry. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a little bit of shadow in some areas. This is my Graphite Aquarelle um, watercolor pencil from Fab Faber Castell, Fab Faber Castell, I I'm not sure, however you wanna say that. But uh, yeah, I'll just sharpen this really fast and then I'll outline some areas and then we'll go and wash it out um, with some water. Okay, so we are done. Give you some close-ups of that. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I am quickly going to just distress the edges with my black soot. And then we'll find a place to put it in our journal. I think I actually have already a little tuck spot that it would fit in, hopefully. Hopefully I didn't make this card too big for the journal. But uh, yeah, I know this one was a little more simple today. Sometimes you need something a little more simple. I'm still happy with how it turned out. Um, I really wasn't sure at first what to do with this prompt, so... I'll definitely be uh, interested in seeing what everyone else ended up doing because <laughs> I was at a little bit of a loss for sure, but we've got this really fun collage card. And very good. Let's find a place to put it. I believe I do have I put in here somewhere a pocket mm -hmm. or a little little tuck spot just a little tuck spot ah here we go Let's see if it fits 
it does barely <laughs> but it fits okay perfect so let's go ahead and pull our scrap for monday that's getting a little hard to keep closed isn't it okay so for monday we are back to pulling from sarah um i should have enough to be able to pull from everyone once more because I have five partners hmm. and there's technically five days left because there's four days next week and then there's the final prompt from Effie on oh that's kind of fun uh, on the 31st so we will put that in our little scrap spot for Monday and go back to our page here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know this one was really simple, really fast and very, you know, uh, easy, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please leave a like down below and I will see you guys on Monday for the first prompt of the final week. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.